Well, most of you are trying to navigate how to continue to work during this public health crisis. In many professions, it's just impossible to completely avoid human contact. KCTV5's Nathan Vicker shows us a local animal hospital looking out for things not only on two legs, but four as well. Health professionals for humans and animals are finding ways to limit contact with people while still treating their patients. The Kavanaugh Pet Hospital is a place of comfort for pet owners like Carrie Jade. He's a little bit sick, but he's going to be okay. But when she and others came to pick up or drop off animals today, they stayed outside while the vet came to them. For the most part, we've been business as usual. Denise Butler manages the hospital, which is still open and treating pets, but trying to limit contact between workers and owners. Just because there's this kind of big coronavirus thing going on out there doesn't mean that animals don't still need us. She says calls for pet care have stayed consistent over the past few days. They've also been following CDC guidelines on sanitizing the clinic, social distancing, and asking employees not to come to work sick. We've just been trying to gather the information and be consistent with our message and be conscientious about our people and um, just do the best we can to be as normal as possible. And their clients don't seem to mind the change. I think it's a good thing. I think it keeps the people and the animals safe. Coming up at 6, we'll show you another profession trying to serve their clients while limiting contact at the gym. In Blue Springs, Nathan Vickers, KCTV 5 News. Many other businesses are changing the way that they do things, and our Nathan Vickers shows us how one gym is adjusting. Businesses like gyms are trying to balance health and safety with their clients' needs. Even during times of uncertainty, people still want to stay active. Nine. One more. It's not too often Good job. you get the entire weight room to yourself. We're basically a little fitness community within a larger community. Jan Schmidt owns Blue Bicycle, a small gym in South Kansas City, one of many fitness centers that has had to close its doors to its members. Nobody's been able to plan for these things, and we've just tried to stay on top of things as they develop. All right, last step. The gym has stayed open for personal trainers like Jennifer mm -hmm. Cooper Novo. Two more tilt. Who depends on these sessions for income. This week has really taken a toll. For her clients, staying active is a must. Movement helps to support our immune system, so that's really important. Exhale. That's why the gym is reaching out online, too. Schmidt and her trainers have started leading yoga and other classes online for people to follow from home. That's encouraging that we're being a, a resource for hopefully more than just our members, but the greater community. Not everyone can get to a gym to hammer out a workout. Just remember that we're going to all get through this. But staying home doesn't have to mean staying on the couch. We're going to do everything we can to help you keep moving, take it one day at a time, and, and handle things as they come up. Online services like Beachbody and Peloton are also offering free trials for their home workout channels. In Kansas City, Nathan Vickers, KCTV 5 News.